Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, this is our, well, our clutch cover on the Husqvarna 701. Oh, we're getting stickers. I'll use Motul, thank you very much. Are you really gonna get stuck on like that? Oh, I gotta get like goo gone. This is ridiculous. Oh, it's coming loose. There we go. Yes. No, use Motorex fluid. Screw them. Unless they sponsor the video in the future, then yes, we use Motorex. So, um, obviously, there's going to be a recluse going back here eventually, but uh, that's backward until June. So, we're going to go ahead and install the um, the Tecmo carbon fiber uh, clutch cover. Isn't that beautiful. Uh, I said in a previous video when we were doing the ignition cover that um, I would prefer to do uh, an HDPE solution that's plastic, uh, but these came to me kind of unplanned, and so here we are. Uh, although I did pay full price for this, don't worry. So you've got one, two, um, three holes here. This is right on the bottom, so it fits right into there. Uh, the brake lever might become a, a fitment issue. We'll have to see. But these are all T30s, so you're going to remove the two T30s here and the T30 around the back, and then uh, it's done. Let's get started. Well, we've got our Moto Hansa T here, which will... Also, no, I don't want to remove this. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> it's just right behind there. See how annoying that is? And that's the one we absolutely need. How am I supposed to even, like... I'm almost certain that this is going to start draining oil, isn't it? Oh, it is draining a little bit. Now it's just a race against time. There's this. This is nice and tight, but not too tight. Pop this off for just a little bit more. That was truly unfortunate, but there was no other way to get to that little bolt. And look at that. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Wow, look at that. So, a um, couple of gripes here. Uh, this tab here extends a little far out, so that's going to catch on something, right? Shouldn't that be a little bit, shouldn't that be cut a little bit inward? I don't know. Um, I kind of don't like how that hangs out. Uh, you can still remove the uh, filler uh, plug easily, very easily. Is there a blue part for that? If there is, I want to buy it. Um, underneath, there's your clearance underneath. So pretty good. Thin at the bottom too, so it kind of really grabs in there. Uh, my boot is absolutely going to scratch this up. It's going to get scuffed all the hell on the first ride out. Uh, on the rear, good fitment on the rear. I mean, it looks fantastic, right? Um, you can smell my Harry Potter pajamas. Yeah. The, the, the biggest thing is obviously going to be if you don't want to spill any oil, uh, do this during an oil change, and then um, you won't have anything in here to drip out. You'll take your, air, your oil filter out, and then you'll get to this screw right here. Uh, same thing goes for installing the recluse. Obviously, um, I'll be draining the oil for that. Alternatively, you could have a buddy or a wall uh, in place of a buddy, and lean this bike up to the left side away from this side. So lean it away and that'll get some of the oil to get out of here. And then you can, uh, you won't have as many problems, but uh, that's really, I mean, I only probably spilled, um, you know, an ounce of oil maximum. It's all cleaned up now. Everything's tight and uh, yeah, fantastic. It's really good. 
right, guys. Thanks for watching.